I'm going to take you through the proper procedure so that you can film your picture for a 3P biomechanical analysis. It is critical that we follow these steps so that we get great videotape to get your measurements for a biomechanical analysis. Step one is calibration. We need something, a yardstick, a bat, that we know the specific length. You can have a 30 inch bat, 36 inch yardstick. This happens to be a 34 inch bat. We take the, mat, the bat to the mound, we lay it down by the pitcher, up against the rubber, pointing directly towards home plate. Then our pitcher speaks into the camera to allow our video experts to know exactly what the length of the instrument is being this bat, and that allows us to calibrate the mount effectively for your 3P analysis. Okay, Matt, so how long is the bat? 34 inches. 34 inches. Now we're ready to begin the film. Our second step is to have precisely the correct camera angle. We take our camera on our tripod for a right-hand picture, and we place it directly in front of third base. This puts us at a 90 degree angle for a right hand pitcher getting the precise proper angle for a 3P program biomechanical analysis. Conversely, first base for a left hand pitcher with a 90 degree angle. After the camera is in proper angles, the pitcher then throws high intensity, his best fastball, three to five pitches to capture it on videotape. The most asked question is, do we go from the windup or the stretch? Whatever your preference, wherever you're most comfortable, as long as we get three to five pitches at high intensity. Well, that's excellent, Matt. The next step as we get to a front angle is once again to calibrate the mound. We lay the bat down parallel and to the edge of the pitching rubber for calibration. After calibration from the front side, we lower the tripod, we place the camera halfway between home plate and the pitching rubber in front of the pitcher, slightly off center. For a right hand pitcher, towards the third base side. For a left hand pitcher, towards the first base side. We want to make sure that in our vision that we have the full picture of the arm at release point. From here, Maddie will make three more pitches. Very critical that the pitcher is in full view. We get the landing foot as well as a full view of the arm at release point. Great job, Maddie. The ideal clothing to get the best measurements is rather tight clothing. Pants a little bit form-fitting, and the shirt form-fitting as well. That'll give us optimal measurements for your biomechanical analysis.